How God Will Communicate With You, The Parable of the Sower The Lord Jesus Christ is not one to force His way into anyone's life. He is gentle, patient, and respects the freedom He has given you, the freedom of will and the freedom of choice. Yet His desire for your salvation is profound. He came into this world with one purpose, to redeem you, to save you from the grip of sin and death. But how does He communicate this love, this desire for your redemption, without infringing upon your freedom? The answer lies in parables. Jesus speaks to us in parables, simple stories that carry profound hidden truths. A parable is not just a story, it's a key to a treasure. The Lord in His wisdom wraps His precious messages in these stories so that they invite you into a journey, a journey of discovery. He places within these tales a secret, something priceless, something that He hopes you will be compelled to seek out. Consider the parable of the sower. Jesus tells us of a sower who went out to sow seeds. Some seeds fell by the wayside, some on rocky ground, some among thorns, and some on good soil. But what does this mean? The sower is Christ Himself. When He began His ministry, the world was under the dominion of Satan. Ever since Adam's fall, humanity had been under the control of darkness. The world was not a welcoming place for God. It was a place where sin reigned, where hearts were hard, and where people had strayed far from the truth. So Jesus, the divine sower, began his work. He went out into the world to plant seeds, seeds of truth, love, and salvation. But the hearts of people were like different types of soil. Over centuries of denying God and embracing sin, people had become hardened, rocky, and thorny in their spirits. The wayside represents a will that is trampled and weak, a life where everyone and everything has taken control, leaving the individual with no strength to resist. When we walk away from God, our will becomes so weak that we allow others to dictate our lives. Friends, the world, even our desires, they all walk over us. We become like a road over which anyone can pass. But Jesus came to cleanse that road with His precious blood. He wipes away the dust, the tire marks, the footsteps that others have left on your life. He says, I am the way. No longer will you be the road that others trample upon. You will walk on the path of righteousness, a path He has laid out for you. The rocky ground represents the self-centeredness that says, I am. It is the pride and ego that refuse to yield to God. We live in a world that tells us to assert ourselves, to be independent, to be the masters of our own destiny. But this rocky ground chokes the Word of God. Jesus calls us to crucify this I Am on the cross with Him, so that we might rise with Him in new life. The thorns represent the cares of this world, the pursuit of wealth, status, and the opinions of others. These are the distractions that choke out the life of the Spirit within us. We chase after material things, believing they will bring us happiness, but they only bring pain and emptiness. Thorns pierce the soul. Jesus warns us that these worldly pursuits lead to the grave, to a place where none of these things can follow. 